Hello everybody, welcome back to the Our Smiling Faces podcast. I'm joined by Mark and Decker once again. Guess what? <laughs> you did it again. What do you do? What I do? Introduce the... Introduce it. I was going to do it, you Introduce know. Introduce the... Were you? I was. Alright, uh, alright, we'll rewind, start again. No, I'm not doing it now. Start again. <laughs> no, I'm right. not doing it now. I'll I think, right, as if... I think we happened. should... Uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to boycott the starts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it on final. Chris out. Chris, Chris out. out. Chris out. Yeah. But yeah, we're, we're back for a, a nearly. We nearly won you in our game. Well, yeah. fuck, you just. We nearly lost, you actually. just dived straight in there with a spoiler. What happens if somebody was watching this waiting to find out the results? Can you imagine if someone did that? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to check anything until. Can I wait until I watch the lads Tuesday, and see what happens? <laughs> I'll wait till Tuesday morning after I listen to the podcast. They could have been in a coma for a, like the whole weekend. They've now got no ears left. <laughs> And this, and this is a th- th- I feel sorry for them if they're in a coma and the first thing they have to do when they get out of this coma is watch this to, to not really find out what the result was going to be oh yeah oh yeah we've got some loyal fans out there we do but not ones who are in comas what happens right if Daryl had a fell into like a diabetic <laughs> coma on Friday night after going out with Decker oh, true. Good happen, drinking all that that alcohol yeah. not having anything to eat Going to bed at four o'clock in the morning. I want to cuddle him with his dog. And then, and then waking up at eight o'clock. But poor Daryl didn't wake up at eight o'clock. He fell into a coma. Why are you diabetic? I don't know. Because <laughs> that's you what people. Because like that's like like not a too bad of a coma, is it? A diabetic coma. You can come back from that if you just get a bit like bit of insulin or something. <laughs> but if you're like in a proper like dying coma, I don't know if we should. You're stop not going to come before, back before we go too far during Saturday. Shall we start about the game? <laughs> Yeah, I hope you're alright, Daryl. Uh, <laughs> all the well best, Daryl. Well, well done on your recovery. Poor Darryl. Thanks for tuning in. You'll feel guilty if you go home and you really like. Yeah, Imagine if Daryl's in a coma. In a coma. Yeah. Diabetic has Daryl got diabetes. Daryl, can you let me know if you've got diabetes? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, man. <laughs> right, yeah. so everyone, uh, we're, we're all supposed to be in Newcastle <laughs> podcast. I've gone off the deep end, mate. I know this is normally towards the end of the podcast. I'm a bit we'll giddy. Doing this shit, mm-hmm. but yeah. Let's talk about some football, eh? Can do, yeah. Might as well. So we made the dreaded trip. I wonder if there's any diabetic football. Why is that funny? I don't know. I don't you know, know, just like sometimes when I like just lose the plot. Yeah, it's come, I'm, it's I'm, I'm, I'm on the brink. Like frangipani. I'm drinking. Frangipani is a f- the, the. It's the like Sil- it's like Silimanani all over again. <laughs> oh, it's oh, like that was funny. That was funny. <coughs> like frangipani all over again. So very frangipani. The, the name of the That's very first niche. podcast. Very niche. That niche reference. Yes, it is. Right. So, so no. the trip to the south coast were normally pretty dreadful when we go down that end of the the country. Stats. If you look at the stats, we're normally shit. Recent recent has not been too bad, is it? We're normally shit. Mm. The game that sticks in my head is that old, the one that we, we got hammered off Southampton. Oh, Which oh time? We got battered off. Two years ago. Like, like, was that about s- out 7 nil or something? Like 7 1. Like I, was, uh, I was on the stag do right for that game and my mate was a matter. And uh, we were dressed He was, is he not? He was, what's that, no? He died. He was in a diabetic coma. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He was a man. He t- oh, sorry. he's a Shields fan. No, no, no. He's no, a no, Shields no, fan. No, he, he still a season to take a out for Sunderland, right? And it was his stag do. We dressed him up as Newcastle top and that. And we went out to watch the match. And you they, dressed him up as a Newcastle top? Yeah. No, as a fan. <laughs> as a fan. So yeah, like the full strip on all that jazz. Anyway, then went to the bar and were like, everyone else would be looking forward to the game and it was just terrible. Like, the worst. It was 8-0 and we're, I think we're, the best player was the goalkeeper. That must be really and weird because there would have been a Newcastle fan celebrating every goal that Southampton scored. Right, <laughs> it, was, like, it, was, it was just terrible. Like, even the whole bar, that, to be fair, the whole bar was full of Newcastle fans and like everyone was just in disbelief of what we're watching. Like. Where was and, this? And Elliot was a mate of Benidorm it was. Benidorm. And El- Rob Elliot played unreal and Rob 6 now. You tend to find that, don't you? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we're having a hammer and keep us play pretty well. But no, but I think Bournemouth though didn't. Work. I think Perez scored with a one shot. Won there last season. Yeah, I think yeah, we had one shot on target. He scored, but no, I agree. But we're normally pretty poor, so we're only hopeless, like absolutely hopeless. Yeah. But going into the game, in regards to the starting lineup, obviously Shaw was Sure Shaw Sure 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 Shaw Sure was suspended for the two games. He's got another game to, to serve there, yeah. and the cells was missing. We thought he would be back in the team. Didn't think the injury looked yeah, too bad, think- but obviously he wasn't there. Well, said Fernandez would come in, didn't we? So yeah, we went to the back four. Back five. Shot, uh, it was back five. Back five. Dummy came into the, the left side of the three, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Which if we got to the back, the back four five. Then again, majority of the time, when I was watching that game, it was, it was back three, back. really, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was the same as what normally play. Richie and the other one. I didn't really notice the solid back five at any point. 
And I think it's like when you you looked at how Bournemouth kind of uh, Bournemouth. I know I just said it. Kind of set up everything with them was going straight through the middle. They didn't really have any like width or anything like that, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, so, no, so you best to try and flood flood the centre of the of the pitch if you can. It allowed it allowed yeah. Yedlin and Richie to spend much more time <clears throat> higher up midfield. The pitch. You had Hayden and Diaby. Yeah. Obviously, you got Perez, Amiron, and Rondon. Big Solomon. The centre midfield pairing. I think we all said a couple of weeks ago that we weren't too keen on those two, obviously because they seem to be a similar player. There's not really someone there that, that can I think put the ball for one break, break it, the game. It, may, it just see. makes the midfield a bit a bit more solid, doesn't have them, have them there. They don't give you that. <clears throat> That's what you think. But in that game, I thought Diomi was just, just missing. I just, think, he just looks slow. I think that, that was the, the big thing for me. And I think it, it's maybe because we've been a bit spoilt the last few weeks, obviously with... Uh, Longstaff. Longstaff coming into the team and obviously being that bit faster around the pitch and which has also allowed Hayden to get forward and be more busy in there as well, whereas you, at, at the weekend it did it did slow things down a bit. jeremy has been out a, lo- a while. Mm. So it's gonna be difficult for him to you know to come back. And mm. he's probably he's obviously fit but match fit and match yeah. sharpness because I felt I agree. He didn't seem like the you know the the the, the, the army that just challenges people, you know, charges people. He wasn't anyone. Yeah. You seem to see that very often. But I, I kind of understand you away from home. Maybe you wanting to try and keep it more solid. Absolutely. Whereas we played Everton at home the week before that, um, and he played Key in Hayden. Mm. Maybe trying to be a bit more offensive mm. being at home. Whereas away from home, you thought played two holding midfielders, um, and maybe by playing two two sets, uh, holding midfielders, he's maybe allowing Richie and Yedlin to have more license yeah. to go forward mm. a bit more. Because um, technically, if them two sit back, you've got five. Yeah. Technically, at the back. In, well, in, even, in, sorry, like well, re- really, they were almost playing a three-four-two-one. Aye, yes, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I was, I was out with the team. To be fair, it was okay. I was, I was I'm always happy when Al- Almi runs on, and, and, and in fairness, and recently Perez as well. Them three up front, mm-hmm. I think, are really important for us. So I was pleased that them all started. So, so the start of the game, it, it was strange with the first, first ten minutes. So it was end mm-hmm. end really in the first ten minutes, wasn't it? Just yeah. back and forwards, the attack, we attack, and back. And it forwards. pretty much was all. All game, really. Do you not feel as if Burnley, not Burnley, Jesus Burnley. Christ, I've done it again. Every single one, Burnley Bournemouth. <coughs> do you not think halfway through the first half? Southampton. Time, nah, nah, Jesus Remember Christ. No, I've played Southampton for six weeks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't so, that was Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Do you not think Bournemouth started as the game went on? They started to control the game a lot more. I think oh, uh, they had King up front for them was was unreal I thought uh, Josh King he had a fantastic Season game Bernie. and um, the lad in midfield um, was it te- Lesser or Teller or Tessar or oh the one like that, that should have been set uh, off I can't think of his name now but what was it what is it Lerma Lerma that's it Teller <laughs> was, so, uh, I think it was a couple of letters <laughs> I thought he had a he had a good game as well but it, as as you say jumping skipped ahead a little bit there he was Perhaps uh, lucky to to still be on the pitch. We'll get the on full that game in a little bit. So I, I thought first off, I honestly thought first off we were okay. Actually, I, yeah. right. I don't think we're bad. No, I, I don't think we're bad. I, I thought we sort of the pressure quite well. All right, fine. Huh? I thought uh, we've seen a hell of a lot worse. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I I, I, I okay. enjoyed it. I thought it was a a good, as you say, a good end end to end game. Mm-hmm. And oh, we were both we were both creating chances, but there wasn't any real. Clear cut ones, I think, no. when ones where you think, oh, God, really should have scored there. Or I thought we got in great areas in the first half and didn't really capitalise mm. on them. Certainly out wide, were, I thought Almiron was tremendous at certain at key points in the game. and Picking up the ball and running oh, with it. Wasn't he was, yeah. he was Dro- dropping off to collect the ball in certain areas and he was putting good balls in the box. Yeah. And they were just maybe a bit too high for Rondon or a bit too far, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Very, very close crosses, but uh, it was all right. It was okay, you know. So I think. I'm not going to get out in my brain I was born not Burnley so Bournemouth had the first chance three to hit, they hit the post mm-hmm. and it was mm-hmm. decent build up play so I one where it broke down the left and was left put it across side, yeah I think yeah. we lost the ball in the, on our right hand <coughs> side Perez and Yedlin then they just attacked our side and I, th- I thought that was in to be honest with you yeah. when lefty's foot I thought it was in I think Dubravka Dubravka seemed comfortable he, he, it, as if he knew that that wasn't well, going he, in. Was in a, he was in a good position He's, he got his angles right and stuff like that because Really, he did almost pull it, just pull it across the front of the mm. the goal. If if there's somebody steaming in it on that, and just yeah. a little touch, and it's in the back of the net. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're they're a different team at home. They're they're poor away from home, but they play some good football. Don't uh, they? I know on the, on the preview football, we mentioned well, they've that, always played good yeah, football. Good football. Like we mentioned that they had a, a pretty shit run of well not mm-hmm. run of fixtures but a run of results, and 
that only won one in the last five right. before the, the, they played us at the yep. weekend. Looking into it, and Andy done his, his away say thing, and their fan was explaining why the people played Man City, blah, blah, blah. There was a few of the, the yeah, big boys in there, and said also there's been loads of key players missing. Mm-hmm. I think King had only came back against King's been injured quite a, quite a bit, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. So there was a, I think there was three players in total that just came back for the Newcastle game. Yeah. Well, not the Newcastle game, but it was the second game back, maybe. <clears throat> Obviously, it was shown there. So that the team that was up against us, they were better than what I was expecting, to be honest with you, looking at previous results on paper and how we've been playing as well at the moment. Early on in the game, Perez did pick up a yellow card, I think, in the first five, six minutes or was early on. Daft little challenge, I think he trips someone up on the halfway line. Mm. Not long after that, so obviously the challenge goes in on him off that. What was he called? Lema or Lerma, Lerma. whatever he's called. Challenge goes in. What did you think of that challenge? Do you think it was a red or I'm on the fence. I'm not. Well we've had a bit of a debate this week over on Facebook between me and Mark about <laughs> what's a red card and what isn't. Bollocks. <laughs> it was bollocks. Like I had to get in there with bollocks before um, someone else did. I thought eh. Uh, do you know what it is? Right, I'm quite forgiven when it comes to red cards. I normally see a challenge. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'd... But when I seen the replay, well, when I seen it in real time, I thought, whoa, we could go here because yeah. I thought it was, it was. I, I, I'm not really one of these people that always goes for the argument. Oh, his studs were shown because I'm much of the opinion of well, you cannot really do a sliding tackle without your studs being shown. How can you possibly do yeah. that? It's quite hard not to. However, to me, that was stood shown. Yeah. If that makes sense, the way that he went in, um, and I was surprised he wasn't sent off. I think there's, there's for me the main difference is. When you go in for a tackle, then is if you if you're sliding along the pitch as opposed to jumping in or diving in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that that always is the one where you think, oh, that looks nasty if it's you know close and just diving mm-hmm. straight in rather than coming across the pitch and, and sliding, which mm-hmm. is more like that other tackle that we yes. we've been talking about in the Man, yeah. Man U game. Um, it's. It's still a dangerous, reckless challenge in in my eyes, um, and I think that's we've we've had a number of decisions like that. Um, I think I think if if you think of it the other way around, so let's say Shelby was on the pitch and Shelby did that, he's would all be going like yeah, exactly shit. yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. it's a bad tackle, you know, yeah. and I, I guarantee all the Bournemouth fans were probably thinking the same. Bloody hell, you may be off here. Um, it was one of them where I thought I thought you should have probably gone. But in fairness, I could I could also see how the referee mm-hmm. in real time Justified in what it is, it's done a yellow. I can kind of see both ways. If that was one of our players, you'd probably think that ah, it's a bit harsh. But you could probably understand if they've gone, if they've actually been sent yeah, off. It was it was a it was a bad challenge. Like, but no once again, one. it depends on who the player is. That it's yeah, your re- reputation it? It plays a massive part in it. Yeah. If it was um, Shelby or Barton or, or, or somebody like that, is. They probably would have walked. The in. usual, the usual uh, lot. Yeah, so the like, usual lot. Yeah. The ones that spring to my mind are like <laughs> Mirovich, yeah, but yeah. ones in just general in football, someone like Charlie Adams or someone like that. Yeah, well, it, I, um, yeah, there's a number of players I think. You'd probably injure yourself yeah. doing a tackle like <laughs> that, isn't it? True, um, true. It was, it was a full, full blooded challenge. <coughs> was, I think it was dangerous to be fair. And Perez was lucky not to be mm. to be hurt, to be fair to him. Like, um, but, you know, there's been there's been two, in, two, two on Almiron in the last couple of weeks, that one on Perez. Perez has had a few went in the Wolves game and stuff like that. Just doesn't seem that we we ever get these decisions. Bar yeah, the we'll, Huddersfield we'll one that we got, which yeah. Jesus. I mean, if he hadn't have gave that one, crazy. Yeah, he had he had to give that one. There's no way around that, was so, it? Yeah. It was so. It was going to be Mike Dean's. He's waiting for his hundredth red card. Is it, is it his hundredth red card? He's on ninety nine at the moment. Am I right? So he's on this, 90- this year. <laughs> this year. This season. This season. But he's on ninety nine. So do you think he's waiting for a big one before he gives his hundredth? Well, that's the the thing. It, was it was it controversial <laughs> enough for him? Because he just loves the drama, doesn't he? I will get on that. And there was a there was there was a few a few decisions that we'll get on to them once they're on the first half. Me. Following that, in the twentieth minute or whatever it was, it was just an end. It was non-stop, and there was nothing really noticeable. I would say, other than obviously when. Yeah. I think it comes from a, a Bournemouth corner, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't. And we so, broke away. Late on in the game, must be 42nd, 43rd minute. They get a corner, <coughs> comes in. We clear it. Almiron picks that up probably just outside of our box. Yeah, yeah, minutes, yeah. Like Indeed. in between boxes. Middle, middle of our field. half, innit? Yeah. So he picks that up and he's got three players on him. Well, four. There's four actually and one. He just burns one of them. Yeah, he's dead. So there's three. There's two in front of him and it's, it's Ibe that's running up behind him. Mm-hmm. All the way yeah. to the edge of the box. It's ridiculous. Unreal, Ibe's, running, Ibe's having a few kicks up and trying to bring him down. The other two are just backing off and backing yeah. off, not knowing which way 
Almiron's going to go. That's unbelievable. Almiron could have went down the whole fucking line. I, I, I just can't understand as a defender why they don't... Why don't you just stand and let him run into you? When just as he comes over your halfway line, the, or in the middle of the pitch, hits. or something like that, one of you is just yeah, well, we, we've just been, block him. In fairness, we've been there. Oh, we're the worst yeah, for that. Many times, yeah, yeah, the player just runs it, off, and for some reason, we kind of seem to stop him. Um, what I would say is, there's not many players on the pitch would have would have done that because they would have no. just cleared it. They yeah. would have thought, you know, we've just defended the corner, mm. the rest will go for time. We'll hoof it away and, yeah. and regroup. Um, but from to have the composure to take it and think, oh, it's all right, I'll just take it all on. But he had a lot. He had a lot of time and space there. To just take it and go, didn't he? he and just, that, like when, when he's running full flight, he's very difficult yeah. to stop. Like he never looked like he was ever going to lose that ball. No, no. Doesn't he's got matter. very, he was very good. He was control. never losing that ball. Yeah. He didn't. Look, he didn't in any way look packed. You know, like, he mm. ran the full end of the field. He's looking just keep going again. Like, yeah, just, yeah. He would have run it, run it again if he had to. Um, I'm glad they did take him down because I don't think he would have. He was heading towards. I don't think he would have done anything anyway, wasn't he? With he was it. heading towards corner. He was obviously at some point he would have had to stop. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the thing. There was no. There was nobody. There's no one coming with him or chasing yeah. after like the, to support him. Is it clear like going back right to when we we're, were bring him into the club and the people taught him what we're saying? He's going to win you, win your free kicks yeah. for the team, yeah. and those free kicks may be crucial. And just like as it were for Atlanta when he played for Atlanta, he did win the free kick right on the edge of the box. So we'll go, it must be forty fourth, forty fifth minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it not in injury time? Was it, it was injury time the first I think it was like forty or something we, like that. Is that not when we took the free kick? I'm sure it was just Maybe. before, just before it, uh, half time when obviously we won mm. it. It's Rondon and Richie standing over the ball. I just thought it's no brainer. Richie's taking this. They did. Oh, no, I've never, I I've never seen it in. in Ron, Rondon's had, totally a, had a few. No, I've totally in around about that position where so he's, he's hit just. Cro- has he hit the crossbar one? So the two, the two that's been to my massive was the first one. I think it might have been Bournemouth at home actually. He's had a couple at the Gallagher. And he hit the post. A hell of a f- same mm-hmm. position. So the one where he rattled the post. And then he the ball went out wide and he actually collected the ball yeah. and swung it back in and Perez scored a header. And then the last one was Everton. Um, I don't know. Um, West Ham away. We were getting beat, obviously, but he took a free kick in exactly the same position. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it hit the post, but I actually didn't think of it now that Fabianski yeah, right. saved it. Keep that save. It, it was yeah. the same, the same, um, the same angle. I, d- I thought think. Richie was going to take it. I just thought Richie against Bournemouth. I think he'll, he'll probably want to take the glory here. Wrong, wrong side for him though, really, isn't it? Yeah. Left footed. Right side. Uh, well, uh, as a left foot, I would imagine he would be favourable to mm, the other side. That side of the so obviously, run, run on steps up. What a free kick that was. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> let's be honest. If that was Dubravka not getting anywhere near that ball. I'd be furious. Oh, we'll be slating them. Yeah, absolutely. The yeah. keep us, keep us so far, far too. The, the, the well, we, we, we have with Satya and said the same when Dubravka's been beaten with a with a free kick yeah. like that. But Do you not think he didn't seem to like... He didn't he move, did he? He, he do, and then he goes, oh, sorry. Obviously, the I mean, game, he wasn't getting anywhere near it. If you watch the game and you listen to the commentary, all the talk about the full pissing game is the wind. I was sitting and talking about the wind. It's just non-stop about this. It was like a stadium. like the amount of kebab wrappers all over the pitch. That should have been there. But the wind helped. It, it, it clearly did because the keeper he's, he's got no chance of reaching that where he stood and like you say he doesn't even reach because he probably knows that yeah. no matter he's, what he's doing yeah. he's far too far to his his left like but credit to Rondon that's a great free kick oh, like. it's yeah, it, unbelievable free even kick. if he'd stand in his middle of his goal that keeper's not not getting it it was proper top bins no, I don't think so I think if he stands in the middle he saves that I don't know like but it's not taking anything from Ronan, it was amazing. You know, all he asked for was to get it on target, he got it up and down over the wall. Mm. Plenty it, of pace on it. Plenty of pace on it, it was tremendous. It was absolutely, well, Richie knew it was in the minute he hit it. That was funny that. He hit it and he had his hands up. Come, come off his foot in Richie's mid air. Is that right what you're saying? I'm looking at that and it's 45th plus four. Yeah, when we get the free yeah. kick, so yeah, I, yeah, it's, yeah. it's obviously last kick of the. Yeah. Last well, that's kick why for Bournemouth it'd be a bit of a mistake because we're scored. That late on the first half, and then <coughs> so late in the that was second half. That was injury time in yeah. both, both halves. So we didn't even score regular time in either half, but you know, who gives a fuck? It's not like us, so it's normally yeah. us on the, no. on the end of the yeah. that scored so late on in games. Yeah. I know a few years back on a pod, you, we did go through a little mm-hmm. period where we were scoring mm-hmm. late goals. Oh, we did, I, that's right. Yeah. And now it seems like we're the team conceding those late on, where we switch off. And I don't think it was a case of a born switching off or anything. I think no. Almiron nah, won it. Almiron deserves a hell of a lot of credit for, yeah, for the way he got him on the pitch and winning that free kick. Rondon, and once again, it, it, it's it. shown you. It's shown you the the quality that is in the team. Mm. Now you've got you've got a person that a player that's able to collect the ball like that and, and run with it like it, with the way that he did. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the quality of someone being able to execute a free kick like that. I mean, there's there's quality in the team. Like there's no doubt about it. And you go you go back maybe the start of the season or whatever. You haven't got that, have you? Nah. You don't have that quality to be able nah. to score that type of goal. You know. So. You just you just plus wish, confidence is high as well in fairness. You just wish Rondon had a, been fit from the. From the, from the start, start, from the start, I know. You know what a what a difference that could have made. 
There's been a lot of people mentioning that on social media, saying obviously when he arrived, he just wasn't fit at all. You could tell that he was just running it. Well, when, when you see that, I, I, I get what you're saying. So what would the, what would the difference have been then? What would what would be? Well, I think just like the, what the difference it would be. What would happen? Look look back at the slow start we had at the, at the start of the season. I know we had some difficult we had well, difficult right? fixtures, but you know we could have picked up yeah, so a few be, few more points and stuff like that and 13, get higher up that table. Yeah. I don't think it would be that much difference to what we are now. I think that, uh, you well, it's going to help you. Don't get us wrong, Craig. It's going to help you. It's better than Yossel up front. Yeah. Yeah. But I just mean in the grand scheme. Of well, it was, it was more or less two, two, three months before he was in the, the team regularly and yeah. and putting himself. He did look heavy. Performances didn't he? in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we all knew why that was. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. of course, of course. Obviously, we won at half time. Brilliant, man. Really? Unreal. Yeah. I, had, I thought going out. We weren't really troubled a great deal other than hitting no, the post. I think. I see. I, I, Both teams defended enjoyed, well. I enjoyed the watching. It was a, it was a, it was a, a good game neutral. of football. I great game for a neutral. Mm. Just back and forwards. And the commentator has mentioned that a few times, saying it, it's a joy to watch. Just back and forwards. Both teams yeah. wanting to score goals rather yeah. than both teams just set a sat back. Who would have thought that? Eh? Newcastle. Are I know. Free flowing counter attack. It football just shows the confidence of and, and it's all came since the arrival of Almiron. Yeah, it has. And obviously with with Perez playing better, it's brought the best out of Rondon. It's brought the best out of Hayden. Obviously, the, the whole thing with, with Richie swapping over that left wing back position as well. So, we're getting Richie. Uh, we'll talk about his goal towards the end, but there's a few things I want to say about Richie during that game, which I think I think a lot of people probably agree with. But, second half comes, first minute or so, <laughs> we can't see the penalty. Yeah. Right. <sighs> Referee. Laws of the book, it, it, it's a penalty, right? All day long, it's a penalty, right? But. <laughs> If you give that as a penalty, yeah. I said on, on Twitter at the time, what's the point in having corners? Because you might as well just award a penalty. You've got to give a penalty every, time every, every single time a corner comes get. in from a, a, a corner, you're going to have a penalty. If the referee's looking at people, yeah. that happens every single time without doubt. Yeah. Let, let, he had his hand on him. Yeah. But he had his arm around his shoulder, didn't he? It's not prevent. I don't it's think like it's preventing them from jumping. There was there was no way on earth he was getting anywhere near that that ball. Well, Dummett cleared it. If I remember, I think Dummett was in front of him. Dummett cleared but it easily. Even if he hadn't have had that arm around him or whatever, he was not getting to that ball. So well, then for now, it's not a keep his fucking hands on him. If he's not getting anywhere near the ball, you didn't touch him. But going back to what Chris says, just correct that. If they give him that as a penalty, you'll have ten penalties yeah. a game. Then, oh, a- a absolutely. Case. And that's what annoys you. And that, this is why fans get pissed off is because there's no consistency is it mm. that probably happened four times in the first well, half then, well then you see five it goes, off, it goes up the other end and the exact same thing happens up there in Rondon's he's got to hold of Rondon's arm yeah, yeah. So, when he pulls him he yeah. pulls him it's King right. isn't it King pulls him what well, made me laugh you know I was thinking of it the following the week before against Everton how many times Rondon was getting done I'm, I'm talking time and time again. Well, how many times did he have to and give he, a piggyback to the central uh, defender? And he never that ref that referee never gave a single foul. Yeah. And then you've got something like that where it's, it was it was very little, but it was a. You can see why it's a penalty. You can see why. You can't see it. when I, as soon as I seen it, I went, oh god! I did think, get your hand off him. And yeah. It was too late. But I think it's it's the way that he goes to ground as well. Yeah. Obviously, it is annoying. It helps, doesn't it? It's frustrating. There's no doubt about it. To make, give the the referee a decision to make, but it soft. It's very soft. soft. Uh, people say, and I've probably said this in the past. If the referee gives it, then you might say players stop doing it. But what Dick saying, if it's so inconsistent, people are still going to do it because well, you can't you, ten times. Well, that's it. Oh, because yeah, you, we're seeing the exact same thing at the other end, and a penalty not given to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. And, uh, yeah. was it the first and you can't even see, say that's a different game or anything. Yedlin, Yedlin was, was another off. one, yeah. yeah. Yedlin yeah. was yeah. fouled. Yeah. That was a penalty for me. Oh, that, yeah. that one for me was worse than the Rondon one. He gets rid of the ball, one. doesn't he? He yeah. get rid of the ball before he's challenged. He, 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 well, he does. He, he, are you right? He, he tries to cross it. But obviously this lad clatters him. Mm-hmm. And I, I couldn't believe that wasn't a penalty. There was a few people protested, but not more, not many. But I was really shocked at that one. Like, it's, I think it's always you know, you know it's I mean? always that thing where it's af- after the ball's gone, isn't it? It always like it's times like that where I wish, and I know it's easy, very easy to sit here and say this, but if your player was a little bit more intelligent, I said this about Ronan a few weeks ago when he had the opportunity to get a penalty. Is you know he's coming, the player. You know the chance. So just knock the ball ahead of yourself. Yeah. Don't try and cross. Just get the ball away, and then you've, you'll be fine. You mean cheat? <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's contact it's that takes no, off diving know, in isn't it but instead of crossing it and get, getting the ball away just knock it further ahead of yeah. yourself and then yeah, take it yeah, too, too honest at times yeah. gets, doesn't get you anywhere so after, 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 no. look, at, look at Mo Salah well yeah that's another kind of thing, after, yeah. after they scored that equaliser once again it was just back and forwards once again then there was a moment where Dubravka goes down and he needs treatment 
he's holding his ankle and I'm thinking Jesus Christ we better not be losing him here it was late on that was, was right, that 60th maybe he'll be on here somewhere yeah I remember yeah. 60 seconds 60 seconds 63rd so he goes down holding his ankle yeah he rolled it didn't he I'm sure yeah. so so I think he gets something? challenged was it a challenge was it I think he gets challenged by I think it's a couple of our it's one of our defenders and one of their players coming mm. in and he, he clears it and he goes down holding his ankle and obviously he gets treatment so a couple of the lads come on the pitch and give him treatment I thought fuck I thought if we lose him here it's alright we've got Woodford on the bench Woodford's on the bench <laughs> I'm, I'm, we keep us on bad uh, but nah. Dubravka's nah. a step above no, I, yeah, yeah. Nah. no no what he's just not like our keepers oh no, I love Dubravka but I'm, I'm sorry I haven't, I haven't seen anywhere near enough of Woodman to be convinced he could just stroll Who? the Premier League game <laughs> so is Woodman our second choice keeper now he is yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolo's Dolo, Dolo injured Dolo's injured, oh. injured. what's Elliot's. wrong with him Elliot's just lapping it up in time out somewhere yeah I, I, well Elliot was injured as well wasn't he Elliot's a bit um, Elliot's away it's because of his age isn't it I, I think if Elliot was in his 20s he'd be number two yeah because Elliot's not a bad goalkeeper yeah. I think if anyone does nah, he's, he's not he's, bad he's good at, um, he's, he's always been hell of a shot shot reliable when he's shot when shot. he's been in the team a lethal throw on him he has yeah mm. I, I, I've, 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 really I haven't got a bad goal. see what Elliot may like yeah. every time he played for us you could, listen right you're not he's, Dependable. he's not Dubravka is he we're, we're, I totally can accept that but he's not a bad reason. no 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 he's not a bad no. a lot worse um, but yeah then the second goal for God's sake their second goal man. so their second goal oh, comes just after okay. we make our first substitution in the game Perez is the first one off the pitch you don't see I that very often that. yeah yeah that was yeah. he had, he had gone a bit quiet in, yeah. to, to be fair he had like, been booked as well yeah. he had been booked early on in the game yeah. so that's taken a little bit of a sting out of his game isn't maybe, it maybe maybe the, the foul in the first half just might have was that Atsu came on Atsu came on Atsu came on Atsu was came brilliant on. I thought for so direct didn't he yeah that's what you want in it from him is if he's coming on as an impact player make an impact yeah. you know what I mean and, and you're oh, he fresh was, legs and, uh, yeah. he was just I mean, picking up and going at them wasn't he yeah. and he, he created a few, so few chances before they get the, the second goal they have a shot and Paul Dummett's there to save the day oh, clear off the line that, yeah. That. Yeah, sorry, so yeah, Dummett's yeah. there to save the day how I thought that was in even though well, the referee that, didn't give it what he did he blew the whistle didn't he and I thought oh, that was, the line. Well, that was he all, the, all kick, their fans he? thought it was well the players started celebrating as well and uh, it, my initial reaction was he, thought he was line, as well um, how he's got his leg that high I have uh, no idea what a pitch out it is isn't it unbelievable it's three yeah. amazing pitches yeah. 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 to be fair when I when I was watching it I didn't in the net yeah yeah I didn't think it looked as close to going over the line in real time as it does when you you slow it down and see that well, in see real that time, picture. I was in. No, I, I, I thought no, he cleared I it thought before. He cleared it. I, I thought he got it clear it. before it got Did that you? close. I, yeah. I thought he, I thought he'd blown to give another penalty or something right, like right. at first because he like kind of pointed and I was like, because yeah. what like watching it at the time I thought in the was there was a foul on um, Fernandez I think it was yeah. um, when their player goes through the back of him on on one of the headers. Um, he goes with his elbow a little bit as well, which I thought was naughty. Um, naughty. And that's what he what he bit, pulled it back naughty. for was that free bit kick naughty. for that. Bit naughty, that wasn't it? Like naughty. <laughs> not, that, not that kind of naughty. <laughs> <laughs> not saucy naughty. So yeah, after that, obviously their goal comes. Fernandez is turned inside out, isn't he? Oh, well, there was, there was three the of game, them. Three of them, wasn't it? Throughout the game, Fernandez. You could tell he hadn't played first team football for a while, hadn't you? The thing is, he when it bad, when it started, slow. when it started, he did well to win the ball, but yeah, then he did, got like did. a touch on it, and it just that touch just, just went, went straight to their player. Yeah, and they it picked was, it up, it and then shocking, but from then it was. Uh, it's uh, not just hand, fun, hands up. I think the ball mouth player did fantastic. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's dreadful defending, man. He's just three of them just following we're the same. We're, ball, not, we're not even putting a tackle on them. We're not. We're not actually physically going towards them, player. But it was. Know? It was immediately in the box. So I think that the 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 thing they're worried about is if you just dive in with a tackle, you're going to give away a penalty. Was outside. Was the, not um, outside the box. No, no, he, nah, he, no. He, he, got, got, he was straight into the box. Oh, he, he picked it up it. just on the edge of the box. He, well, he had had time to but there was three of them. For me. Then Lejeune, oh, Lejeune is the, yeah, is the one you've got to point you. Then Lejeune's there and Lejeune runs out of the player to Mark, who, who's alongside him. He goes right up into the middle of that gap. A gap. Then a great finish. He just passes it oh, inside, doesn't finish. he? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I just think chance. it was a very a very good move from from the Bournemouth players. It, it might be one of them where if we scored it, I'd be like, oh, well, what a move. Yeah. But yeah. defensively, I'll, I'll tear it apart because yeah. I thought it was terrible. It was, was, shock, was shocking defence. I, I was shouting them all, just go towards him, go towards him. Go, oh, fuck God. It was in. It's fact, like, there was like a handful of them doing oh, the same thing. There was, there was, there was three just, just waiting for him to either 
just to do something, either well, take a shot, a mover. Yeah, did I. And I think what caught him out was he just rolled the ball outside of him to the finish. other player. Great finish. He didn't disappoint. He just passed him. it into the yeah, it was into finish. the net, didn't he? Yeah. And I, some, like like you say, sometimes you've just got to hold your hands up and say it was a good. That was a good goal from yeah, him. Yeah, it was. It was. After that, so we saw another substitution. Almiron goes off, and who came on for Almiron? Kennedy. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Tommy Head. I think I had a Mudo. Muto, yeah, Muto came on, didn't he? At that point, aye. You went and hired up. Aye. So Muto came on. I was on. really struggling by that point, yeah. Take out some over that. Muto was putting himself around. I like him, you know. Yeah, I, I do don't... like him. It's a shame that he, d- he doesn't get his game time, but. Well, he's not going to, is he? He's not going to with them. He, came, he, was, he, was, he was having a go at the referee and their, their defenders a couple of times as well. Well, the main he reason he was on. having a go was because of the back pass. Oh, that was. Aye, what the hell's so, going on there? No, 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 it wasn't a back pass. Muto's the one that's going wild because he's there. Yeah. He's the one waiting to hide that in the back of the net. Yeah. In what world is that not a back pass? I don't know. In Mike Dean's world. So I people are saying that he's, there's people trying to defend it, saying he's trying to put the ball out. Behind Was the goal. he shite? If you're not trying to put chance. a ball out, you put a ball out. People, you don't cushion the ball yeah. gently people are defending in the Michael direction Jackson. of the goal. People are defending Michael Jackson, I see. You know, you can't, people you can't people think the McCanns didn't murder Matty. They'll defend anything, man. People will defend anything. But they're still wrong. That's, that's a pass back, yeah. period. It's just a the, pass back. Like, it's a no-brainer. They take out that penalty and they're, they're sending off in the... Man, you game, people are just wrong. Never don't, I'm not having news too fighting <laughs> over that again. I'm not having news too fighting. But yeah, the ball comes across from the right hand side. Is it Yedlin that puts it in? Oh, I think it was. Yedlin put a load of, load of crosses in, lo- didn't he? Loads of these balls back across. Yeah. across the the as well. Last 10 minutes, we the amount of chances we created in that last 10 so minutes, we deserve the, the ball's coming across goal. And the player, he doesn't look up at the keeper, but he knows where the keeper is. The, the fact, all he does, he just, he just cushions takes, the ball. He takes, takes the, the pace off the power off and just cushions it back in the direction. Even the keeper, like. In his head, why is he not going? I just need to put my foot through this. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, I, I yeah. Why? Why would you think that? Well, I thought time. that's what the it. the defender in his in his defence is probably trying to do. That take the pace off, just drop it back so that the keeper can put his foot through the ball. Because Mutu's that close, you know, he's just. But waiting. the keeper just. I love that. Thanks. I couldn't believe it. I, I don't I, like. Honestly, I was watching it, can like. Uh, I that, couldn't even get it in my head. I've seen a few Bournemouth players, uh, fans behind the goal, literally were like, oh, like that. Like, even them were going, oh, it's yeah. definitely a pass like that. But how, how does the referee or the linesman not see that? Do, uh, we'll get back. See well, that? he sees it, but he just doesn't. Oh, I think so. He how doesn't does he believe it. Right? What does he think Deliberate? he's done? What does he think he's done? Huh? It's unbelievable, isn't it? I don't it, know. It, it, goes it can it. only be that he, he doesn't believe it's a deliberate attempt to pass the ball back to the goalkeeper. Even, if, even if it's not a deliberate attempt. But then and that's when I would shift the blame on the keeper. Yeah, he should clear as well. Yeah, the keeper just, should clear it rather than pick it up. And that's what well. the ref's got to like try and figure out. Like yeah. fair enough, the, the player might not have meant to pass it back, but the keeper's got plenty of time to, to put his through through that. He yeah. doesn't have to go and pick it up, which is exactly what he what done. It's not like it it comes off him and just goes towards the keeper, and the keeper has to like save it or something like that. Where you can say, well, that's definitely not a back pass. He cushions the ball back to the keeper. The keeper bends down and picks it up. It's a pass back. It's a pass back. It's a joke. No doubt Absolute about it, joke. It? So, not long after that, Shelby comes on. Diomi is off. Diomi, like I said, he, he just wasn't up to the pace, I don't think. I think for all the game, he struggled at times. I would have, I would have liked to have seen that change happen earlier. A bit earlier. To be honest. But, mm-hmm. you know, it is what it is. I would like but to see that thing is, with Almiron on the pitch. Like yeah. Shelby and Almiron playing yeah. together. I, no, I, I think... Uh, the reason Rafa probably didn't make it a bit sooner is because we were we were const- we were still in the ascendancy. Atsu was make, creating a lot of chances. Lejeune was getting the ball in the box. Yedlin was getting the ball in the box. We were creating good opportunities, so it didn't really feel like we needed, you know, that extra bit of impetus yeah. at, at that time. But he came he came on and then he, he got he did he got involved. He was spraying the ball around and and stuff like that, trying to drive forward. But I think when you um, when you run the ascendancy like that and you, you you're trying to get a goal, Shelby does look like a Rolls Royce of a player. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's when it's backs against the wall. Well, that's where it, you see the bad side. Amount amount of time. He's and, just and stuff got like that of time yeah. and he can just pick balls for fun, like you know. So ninety fourth minute, Yedlin's got the ball on the right hand side. He dinks that over. He's not aiming for Richie. He's aiming for the middle of the, oh, the, he's middle just, of the he's box. He's just putting it in the box. He's wherever he wants. Yeah, I don't think anything ever hardly looks for anyone. Nah. He's just getting it in. Just there, it. All that he's trying to do is get it where people Absolutely, are. Absolutely, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, Richie's just down there, unmarked. Well, if, if you watch it, as the ball goes out to the right-hand side, Richie is miles out away from the mm. box, mm-hmm. and he absolutely pegs it to get to the edge of the box. Richie's just nice. as the ball comes in, and I swear to God, I have never seen a ball more sweetly hit 
then he catches outside that. of his boot as well. It outside is, of his boot. It's foot. hilarious where his leg and foot ends up. It's it's like pointing now. He has to so he hits it with outside of his foot. I it's just absolute scream. I'm sitting there watching. I just can't believe what like what I'm seeing happening. So at that point, in, in front of us, I, I'm watching that game and I've, I've admitted defeat. To be honest with you, I'm thinking well, we're not getting anything out here. Well, it's one of them where you where you're I'm creating thinking, so many chances, Jesus aren't you? Jesus Christ! I was, I was just stunned. I went I went absolutely ballistic. I was <laughs> stunned. I was the eating. dog dog fucking nearly died because I had just coma. Fucking shouting coma. coma. Fucking, the dog spun round, starts gang crazy at me. Oh, was it? Oh, it was unreal. Yeah, I can't believe it. To be honest with you, it was. I'm not really um, used to seeing my score goals like that. If that yeah. makes sense, you know, we're not normally. Uh, well, that's so got, that's cool in the month, two months, two months running, two months running. There's no no way anybody's beaten that goal. I'd be surprised. Imagine what somebody's got to score to beat that. I know, it was incredible. It so was, was incredible. Richie's done an interview afterwards, and he comes out. And he says, "I kind of forgot where I was." Yeah, he did. He yeah. went because I, I owe so much of this club. Yeah. My career was built at this club, really. Mm-hmm. And he went. I, I completely forgot where I was, and he, he did. He kind of celebrated. Well, he did. Then he, he stopped. Off, didn't he? Then he went shit. And then he, then he well, the thing is, he, he knows he's just scored an absolute fucking world. Anyone he, else? And he's like, he's bringing corner flags. That's that's it. He's oh. like, all right. for them. He's running round up yeah, yeah. all them. Are oh, you right? I know definitely. He, he ran off and he just realised after a few seconds, oh, Billy, I'm a bit bored. Yeah. And then he had to obviously calm it down, which was. I love it, you know, when I see players celebrating against former clubs. You know, she yeah. used to do it when he used to score against Blackburn. Southampton oh, he used to he go did, wild yeah. every goal he right. scored uh, but he did it. Well, I know he didn't play for us but I remember when he um, scored against he us he scored against us for Blackburn and he was yeah. down 10 out like. yeah, yeah. and I remember my dad was going mental guy. he support us you, you support yeah. what are you doing it is what it is you'll never be out of bayos oh, like. unreal the great, one of the greatest <laughs> moments <laughs> of Premier League full length of the pitch and slid in the corner on his knees <laughs> Ah, ah, it's, the that. Photo, it's a photo where he's like yeah. that on his knees and, and, all the all and they're all like that there's just chairs and everything just get, that is amazing that you know it's great that shit house is his finest like, I remember I stand up in, in my house I was watching that in the sky I was like that well is done. amazing that. I love how like that man. proper shit house like you. do you know what I know we're gonna, I'm not going to go off here but um, can you remember Roy Keane's against Arsenal when he just stood right in front of the, the billboards and didn't move so he, he scored and he runs Right up to the to the sponsor boards and just stands, just stands, stares, <laughs> just stares at them, and they're literally going <laughs> off it. And he doesn't smile, nothing. It, it's amazing that one as well. It's really good. I love things like that. You know? Yeah, it's good. Cool, that's, that's class, man. That's what that. makes football great. Just oh. proper shit. How really like yeah. that? I didn't mind Neville's when he got done for the Liverpool one when he's grabbing the shirt and that. And you remember he ran to Liverpool fans' game. That's what it is, man. Get on with it. Get on with it. You know what I mean? And now people are going to say it's it's going to condone violence that the Liverpool fans might kick off or the other fans are going to kick off which they clearly did yeah, the, yeah. the City fans but uh, yeah, who cares man go on mate. but going back to the goal it was absolutely amazing fantastic it was I, w- absolutely I watched the goal amazing. on loop for 15 minutes so right <laughs> just, uh, the goal just got better every time i seen it do you think the goal masks over Richie's performance because right Richie was grafting okay I'm, I'm not going to disregard that he was grafting his arse off but I think he was poor like throughout the game. I, I thought he was a six out of ten type of performance. Just his normal Because he's given you the effort. Great. But he I agree he didn't really do anything. Mm. But I'll not I didn't want to knock him because I've said weeks ago that I'll never ever knock him. The team would be different um, without him. Yeah, I'll never knock him. But I just I, I don't know. I don't think he had a, a poor game or anything like that. You know? No. Yeah. I thought it was six or six out of ten. Like I just thought it was a standard performance. I thought without most most goal. of our attacks and stuff like that, in in fairness to him, were going down the right. Yeah. So we didn't see a, a, a great deal of the ball. Um, but I, 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 he put a hell of a shift in for me. Up well, and down, up and down be, the flank you know, and stuff like that. You always will, and yeah. that's why you can't you can't ever knock him. You, you can't knock him. You can just say, "Is it what did he do enough creativity wise going forward?" Mm-hmm. Probably not. Yeah. But then the other, other argument is, well, is it really his job? His job is he's left wing back. He's there to just put a good shift in and. and it's your Almiron's and your Paris. That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out the partnership that Richie and Almiron are going to have. Because once again, it seems at times Almiron's screaming for the ball and Richie's rather drop a shoulder and go back. Well, that person on Twitter, I told all the reason why he does that. Oh, oh hi. Jesus Christ, aye. So Did you on see Twitter that said, tweet? No. Was he being serious? <laughs> I do know. So he said, maybe Honestly. Mike Ashley's told Richie aye. not to pass the ball to Almiron. Did you see that? That's what because it means it, it makes it, him look bad so you just have to spend any more money on him. Yeah. Like yeah. Players. Um, unbelievable seems legit unbelievable like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he hasn't told Mike uh, hasn't told wow. Richie that can you imagine that, that? Mike actually <laughs> by the way mate never didn't pass that new kid Reed. Yeah. because I don't want to spend any more because money. if he's really that good I might have to buy another one and that's what yeah, he said right. I was like and see how that would work happened. hilarious that man people are just mental aren't they they are mentally you know, some people Crackers. probably the same people that think Michael Jackson didn't touch anyone the probably second time you've done that mate aye because he annoys us Michael Jackson's aye he does aye he just fucks us off 
Do your, be- do your best Michael Jackson impression. <laughs> <laughs> right, is anyone else going to think of I like Michael Jackson. All right, okay. Piss off, man. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Oh, okay. oh Richie's <laughs> funky magic. He wears a magic hat. He could have saved for West Ham, but he said no, not that. You didn't see that either? <laughs> Thank you.